So while he gets a mixing, I'm going to organise our hop-ups, which is going to be damn awkward. There's a lot of wet bricks because we didn't cover them up, and as you can see, the, the rain's got in down the wall. There we go. So while he's been doing that, though, I've been having to tidy up, so I'll uh, show you what this looks like with all the... Right, boots are on. Oh, but steamed up there. Here we go again, Saturday shift. Saturday being, sorry, the reason for Saturday is Alex goes to Sweden tomorrow and this job, it needs to be finished. No way I can do this on my own. So we've um, been for a supply run, some, some, some extra blocks, because we use blocks below damp down here. We're a few short for this section here. Um, Alex is just getting all the gear, he's got the sand, he's got our planks. So while he gets a mixing, I'm going to organise our hop-ups, which is going to be damn awkward. But we'll manage. We've got a lot of extra bricks. We can use the bricks to build up the bricks if you like. So the roof's held out. It's, it's leaked, but not too bad. And it's still, still be okay to get under it. It's still doing its job. I've just propped it up at this end, so it's running back onto the roof. So there's a few drips here and there, but nothing we can't handle. We can still work. So there's Alex's hop up there. There's Alex's spot board set up. We're going up hop up plus two blocks, and that takes us to eye level with the roof, which is just right. So we won't be doing like this, like yesterday. Yeah, we, we did stretch a bit yesterday. Even me at the high end was a bit, we're not used to that. <laughs> part of the reason we left site having to work like that all the time it's not fun you can't get your brick whip nice and straight like that don't care what anyone says so yeah uh, customs got a hop up inside so we're gonna have three hop ups one two three um we've got two planks and then we're just gonna have to build the bricks up in high stacks so we can reach them there's only 125 to go five courses so um i'm gonna get organized here and now it's going to get the mix on. And feeling quite smug being able to work in this weather because it is lousy today. It's just been bombing down before. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of wet bricks because we didn't cover them up. And as you can see, the, the rain's got in down the wall. And it's been dripping in a few spots. So, but yeah, cracked on with that yesterday. I think, um, I think we started about this height. So, yeah. Quite pleased with that. And like I say, it's here, it's here where the roof's going to need extending after. So when we're finished, we'll just cover the wall up. So I'm going to put this camera somewhere out the rain and get this hop up set up. Happy Saturday.
Right, I should be feeling really smug right now, but I don't. <laughs> the reason being, this is grim. We're covered up. We've got a roof, but obviously it's not. It's not very. It's water shower resistant, but it's not waterproof, so it's still getting in. But the main thing is it's only getting in where we are, and it's only a few drips, so that's good. It's driving against this wall, so it's driving against the wall and coming down the wall. So because we've got a load of spare bricks, we've been able to stack them up like this. So we're up on the hop up, plus a block, so we'll probably like say about two and a half feet up, just so we can reach that level. So we're high level. So we're not stretching as much as yesterday. Um, we're all loaded out. Alex got the mix on. I don't like how green this plank is. This was just on the side there. We've got to we borrowed it. But it's really long. It's full length. And it's quite thick, so it's quite strong. So the, the main thing is the hop up's done, we can reach. Profiles are up, spot boards are set up on a stand and a couple of lot, a couple of crates and a spot board and yeah. Not ideal, but it is what it is. As you know, you know me and Alex, we just get on with it. So, just about sheltered under here to get this return. I can get that off this off up. So it's 10 o'clock, because we are running a bit late. We're going, getting materials and stuff this morning. And Alex is fine with sausage butter before he heads off to Sweden. Yeah. So, that's us. We're ready to go. A few of the bricks are damp, but nothing, nothing we can't work with. So we're going to get cracking after break. Um, been asked to patch this wall, up, but I don't think that's going to be happening today. I'm going to speak to them and ask if they want the triangle cutting off it and just bring them through level, because that's just a waste of time. That thing. It's a, it's a proper low. If you look at the state of it, um, obviously they want the privacy back. So. Um, I'm going to get dried up this afternoon, I'll get it done. But I can't see it, it's forecast all day. It's done well, so this is what I've done. So yeah, we can work, it's not going to be fun, but we can get it, get it finished, that's the main thing. Because I couldn't do this on my own. Because the mixer is inside. So everything's going to be bucketed round now, through the door, through that little gap, and down there. So this is where Alex, who does nothing, comes, comes into his own. And basically keeps us working. So let's go and get a break. Right. Uh, I'm sure Dad's give you the rundown, but I'll just give you a little reminder from this side. So there we go. That's a, that's how much we've got left. God, doesn't seem like a lot. Mixes in. Mixes next mixes. We'll be ready, um, and we're good to go. Dad's just gonna get his tablets down, and so I'll get the boards loaded now, and then we're gonna make a start. Knock on wood, the rain's died down a little bit, so hopefully it might not be dripping as much because it's not waterproof, but water resistant. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, oh look at that! What's that? 20 mil. I've just tripped over it. Oh my god. Yeah, so uh, while he's sorting that out, I'll get the board loaded and we'll get started. So we'll find somewhere dry to set you up and uh, see you there.
lunch time over. Back outside. And we're up. So I hate. So, well, we're nearly up. We're four bricks short with a mix. And pretty much every brick's damp, so it's um it's not very uh, very good for jointing. I'm gonna have a go at it now, but um I'm gonna drop inside onto the block work, get that ready. While Alex gets these one, two, three, four, four that's five bricks in. Um and then obviously the rest of the bricks are spare, so he's gonna get them out, put them there somewhere, stack them out there somewhere, or inside the house maybe. Um clear the decks, give it a good clean up, fill that up with sand so we don't punch the viscreen we put in and then just top it off with sand cement on the top just to point it up so it's finished and then all it needs doing then is this wall at a later date. So yeah that's it, I'm going to jump up there with the jointer now while that gets that mix in and then um, try and get it finished. plumbers out there, I know if Tom you're watching you probably know, toilet doesn't flush properly but I'm guessing, it goes down but eventually I'm guessing, well I've got a rough idea, it should have a, a vent pipe on that because mm -hmm. if, if it's sealed the toilet's got to breathe so there's got to be air coming into the system for the toilet to flush properly so that's just got to bend on it and it's sealed so that's why it won't flush properly, that's what I'm going to suggest to the customer, I'm pretty sure that's right and then um, Alex just got the rest of the blocks round for me and I've just finished the jointing and had a bit of a spring clean so Looking good. I don't need this many brick hey? I don't need this many brick no your bricks up there on the top so I'm just going to dump these in the garden um, probably put them there by the back door because the so, there's work going on here or, or maybe inside but um, I've really stacked them for brick tongs, right. so that shouldn't take long to move. Pretty much all the crap's gone. So I'll just get them five in, and then drop everything basically. Get rid of all these. Well, I don't have to tell you what's going on. That's getting tidied up. You don't need a detailed description. So let's just get on with it. I'm going in here. So while he's out here, around that corner, I'm getting set up in here. To run this black this block panel in and we should have brought our other bloody light with us mind you that, that helps doesn't it leave that door open yeah 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 i'll get you a gorilla tub for the rubbish yes or go box bucket yeah and then outside you should we put the viscreen little tray in just to give it a bit of a protection against the ground um we're going to put sand down fill the gap up with sand then top it off with a bit of sand and cement so that um, the, there's three quarter limestone out there but instead of using that stuff we don't want to punch the plastic so um, we're going to use the sand right, bash it down and point over it so a bit of fettling in here a bit of loading out Alex can you get me the block, block grabs please yeah thanks um, yeah one stack of block one spot board boom just get that out of the way and insulate as we go Oh yeah, that was a big hole for you two days ago. Still got some insulation going in there too, 
but that can be done from above. Oh. There's our sponge that we nearly lost. Oh. So we've only got our little Milwaukee light. We do have a, we've got a big one but forgot to bring it. So we um, stop talking and let's start doing.
halfway there. There we go. So while he's been doing that, though, I've been having to tidy up. So I'll uh, show you what this looks like with all the scaffolding down. <laughs> there we go. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. So that part was not easy, but wasn't that difficult either. I've had, I've had worse, but there we go. So obviously, I think Dad's mentioned they're going to be stripping all that roof back and putting a new one on. So, there we, there we go. And then I'd give all this a good sweep. Got all the bits, bits in the mortar off with the scraper. And what I'm gonna do is, like Dad said as well, the grit sand that's left over, I'm gonna pour that in the big gaps. And then I'm just gonna point that up. Just give it a nice finish. So yeah, it's quarter past four. Did I say it's quarter past four? I think I did. Anyway, it's probably 16 past four now. <laughs> But that is where we're at so far. So I'm just going to keep tidying up, get this part sorted, and uh, assist Dad where he needs. So I'll throw, I'll throw you back to Dad on time lapse.
hold up my new lantern like a bloody horror game. There we go. Well, half five, and we're finished with the the brick and block work side of it. Now I've just got clean up to do. But there's that, and then I'll take you out here. I don't really need the light now, do I? Here's my side and the part that's all pointed up. God damn it. Freaking. <sighs> have to do something about that. But there we go. We'll give you a little pan over when it's uh, all finished, but for the most part, that is a very easy going job done. I was dreading this job, but it's. Uh, Ended up working out really well. We've had a late finish tonight, but oh well. Makes, I suppose, the price to pay for um, having two great days on the trot. But yeah, so thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap that bell. That way you'll be notified when we upload, which is a massive help to our channel. We greatly appreciate all the support we get. This has been. Brickling with Steve in the in the house and Alex taking shelter from the rain. And we will see you in the next one.